What's going on, people? Welcome back to White Whale Fishing. So, I'm pretty jacked up. Not because of the fall feed or largemouth bass fishing or anything like that. I'm pretty jacked up because in just a few days, I get on a plane and I fly to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I get to do maybe a few hours of bass fishing in my hometown. Really going on vacation. Um, myself, the wife, the two kids going down to Florida to rendezvous with the family, my sister, my mom. My mom's going to meet my, my nine-month-old for the very first time. After that, we go to Island Morada, Florida, which is in the Florida Keys, and uh, we'll be staying in a rental house with some family and some friends for about 10 days, and or seven days, eight days. It doesn't matter. It's going to be awesome. But I really wanted to uh, make a video today to show you guys what I'm going to be bringing with me. Um, we're going to be targeting, number one, whatever bites. <laughs> uh, I grew up in South Florida, so I'm pretty familiar with, you know, fishing from the beach and fishing from piers and fishing for bass down there. Um, but I've never been wade fishing in the Florida Keys. Uh, I've been bridge fishing in the Florida Keys, I've been boat fishing in the Florida Keys, but never wade fishing. So what I'm really going to be focusing on are inshore game fish species like sea trout, redfish, bonefish, hermit, snapper, um, possible tarpon. Those are all species of marine life that are pretty prominent in the Florida Keys, snook, uh, and right now is a really, really, really good time to fish backwaters um, and wade fish in the Florida Keys. Now, I'll be wade fishing anywhere from ankle deep up to, you know, torso deep. Um, could have a run in with sharks, could have a run in with stingrays. Uh, could have a run in with crocodiles uh, because we are going to be pretty dang close to the Florida Everglades. Uh, hopefully, we won't run into any of those species that are man eater size. Uh, but all in all, it's going to be a great time. Going to be able to recharge the battery, unplug from work, and hopefully have a good time fishing. So, let's jump in. What are we fishing? Um, picked up a couple of new baits that I've never ever ever fished before and wanted to kind of share some of those with you so before you know before I get into that I, I I broke out the old school saltwater tackle which I haven't seen in a really 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 long time this is all stuff that I brought with me from South Florida that we would occasionally fish from the pier I've been fishing swim baits for a really really long time so that's something that we would throw that's probably a one ounce a three quarter or one ounce Looks kind of like a pilchard, uh, which is a saltwater bait fish. Looks a lot like a blueback herring. <clears throat> um, picked up some old, uh, these have been sitting in my tackle box for, I don't know, 20 years or so. It's just a, a single tail grub. Rig it on like a quarter ounce jig head. That's like a transparent gold flake. It's supposed to imitate a shrimp or small bait fish. <clears throat> these are all, all these lures are things that are going to, uh, that are potentially going to be eaten by snook, sea trout, redfish. Um, I'll wait to get into that. So I've been doing a lot, some research on what to bring, right? And finesse swim baits are pretty popular. Um, before we get into the finesse swim baits, some old school baits. These are, dude, these are literally 20 years old. Uh, Exude. I don't even think this brand is made anymore, but you know, this is like the saltwater version of power baits from 20 years ago. But there's a shrimp. Rig that on a jig head. Yep. They still smell. <laughs> they don't smell like a power bait, they smell like something funky. Um, but that's a shrimp. We'll rig that on a jig head. This is a unique little bait. There's a crab. Throw that around some dock pilings. 
Yep, still stink, still slimy. So again, we'll see what's going on. But a lot of bass fishing tackle can be interchangeable. Um, I'm not going to be fishing like any big gear while I am um, doing this stuff. I'm going to be throwing Zoom watermelon flukes, weightless Zoom white flukes. <clears throat> Got some 3.2 swim baits by Six Cents. Um, picked up some Berkeley Gulp shrimp saltwater version in white. Those look pretty interesting. Uh, also just got in the mail some Berkeley Gulp Shrimp in New Penny or Copper Penny color. Those look pretty interesting. And this almost wraps it up for the soft baits. And here's a really interesting one from Z-Man. Uh, Z-Man does make quite a bit of inshore saltwater tackle for redfish and sea trout. This is their Easy Shrimps. And this comes pre-rigged. It's made of Elastec. <clears throat> and it comes pre-rigged on a, on a custom, like, keel-weighted swim bait hook. But that looks pretty cool. Looking forward to throwing that. Uh, uh, and that pretty much does it for me for the soft bait category. Uh, now we'll start talking about hard baits. I'm so jacked up, man. I'm so excited. I can't wait. <clears throat> when I'm wade fishing, I'm going to have one rod, walk in the flats. For every step I take, two or three casts. Uh, now onto the hard bait category. Um, <clears throat> I've got some bass tackle in here. I've got some top water and stuff like that for when I'm in Fort Lauderdale. But keeping with the... Um, with the saltwater theme, I'm going to be bringing some jerk baits with me. Maybe I can have better luck on jerk baits in saltwater than I can in freshwater. These are all bass grade jerk baits. And here's a saltwater version of a jerk bait that I've had for 20 plus years. Hooks are still in great shape, surprisingly. <clears throat> uh, there's a brand out there called Mira Lure. And they make, these are kind of slow sinking twitch baits. Uh, I got this in a mystery tackle box a while ago. This is kind of like, it's made by Weston Baits. It's kind of like a swim bait, kind of like a rattle trap. We'll see. It's got the profile and color of a pilchard. So I'm actually really looking forward to that. Um, got to have a spoon. That's a, that's, a, that's a pretty heavy spoon, maybe an ounce. Uh, this is... Uh, I'm trying to remember what this is called. This is a really heavy, like ounce and a half jig uh, that has a really radic motion. Uh, we used to cast these off the pier and catch Spanish mackerel, stuff like this. Um, <clears throat> here's an, here's a, another bait by Mira Lure. It's a top water walking plug. And then you can't go fishing without a saltwater one knocker spook. Um, other than that, you got some more swim baits, swim bait heads, swim bait hooks. Nothing crazy, going to keep it pretty simple, um, but that's pretty much everything I'm taking with me. Um, I want to show you guys the gear I'm going to be throwing this on. I did not make a video about it, but a few months ago, I, I won uh, an online gift from an app called Fishbrain. They had a competition. And I entered it, and I won, a, I won a tackle package from Abu Garcia. I wish I would have done an unbo unboxing, because it was pretty cool. But this is, what, this is one of the things that I won. This is the Abu Garcia Max STX. It's a 4,000 size reel. Uh, the rod is 7.6, medium heavy, and it's a two-piece. So it breaks down for easy travel, which is great. I'll throw it in a rod tube and uh, check that but yeah i think that's going to work really really well for walking and casting the flats um, <clears throat> another rod i'm bringing with me for when i'm not walking the flats is one of uh one of my old school that's a shimano bait runner 4500 series it holds like 300 yards a 14 pound test um, it's a bait runner so you can actually keep the bail flipped flip this 
and you're able to go into free spool mode with that lever flipped and then you just disengage it and you can set the hook but that's on a nine foot surf casting rod you can see the length of the butt this will go into a uh, a rod stake into the beach and i can throw you know cut cut fish cut shrimp live bait uh, on like a three ounce weight i could toss it 100 yards out uh, for those bigger fish barracudas tarpon snook whatever and the last thing the bass tackle that i'm taking with me this is something else that i won as part of that abu garcia gift pack uh, it's a black max combo and i've never owned a black max combo it's not a big dollar item um, but it's a sweet little it's a sweet little combo six six medium two piece i can throw swim baits on it i can throw chatter baits on it and uh, i can throw top waters on it it's the perfect thing to break down and throw and travel with me but um that's it that's what i wanted to show you guys I'm getting ready to hit the road here in a couple days and looking forward to making some content down there and hopefully catching fish if not at least show you some uh, some beautiful scenery from uh, isla Morada in the florida keys but hope you all are fishing hope you all are catching if you guys have any questions or comments drop down in the, the comments below let me know if you've ever been wade fishing or not and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys soon peace out God bless. Tight lines. See ya.